Hello, my name is Jordan and I'm with the Shared Spaces team. Today I'll be showing you how to scan a 3D object with the Curie Engine app. We will move through all the steps from downloading the app, navigating the app layout, scanning an object, and exporting your file. You can skip to relevant sections by clicking on the chapters in the description or scrubbing to the markers in the timeline. To start, you'll need to download the application either through the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store, depending on your choice of phone. Open up the App Store, search for Curie Engine, and proceed to download the application. Kiri Engine is compatible with iPhones that have iOS 15 or later, and Android devices with Android 7.0 and up. Once it is installed, we can open up the application and get started. Once the app is opened, it will give you an introduction showing some of the features of the application and what is possible when using it. You'll then be prompted to create a profile before you can use the application. Click the sign up button and enter in your email address as well as a new password for your Kiri Engine account. Once everything is entered, press submit and your account will be created. Kiri Engine has a few different menus to explore when first opening up the application. The first is your library. It shows you all of your current projects that you have saved and any that you are still working on and have yet to be finished. The next page has information for all of Curie Engine's social media accounts, and I'll look at some of the new features they are adding to the application. After that, we have the weekly staff pick page that shows off different creations from other artists using the application. Finally, we have the profile page. Here you can adjust settings and upgrade your account to a pro version if you so wish. It is not necessary for scanning and exporting that we'll be doing today. Now to begin in Kiri Engine, press the plus button at the bottom of the screen. You will select Photo Scan, and then Take Photos. You may have to allow Kiri Engine access to your camera as well. There are two main ways to scan your object. The first is to keep it stationary and walk around it while taking pictures. The other is to stay still and rotate the object itself. There are multiple ways to take photos as well as more advanced camera options available to you to get the best pictures possible while scanning. You can take photos manually, take a video recording, or set your camera to automatically take pictures in different intervals. We'll be manually taking the pictures today. Now, to start, slowly move around the object, taking as many pictures of your object as possible from every angle you can. Today, I have this horse head on top of a stool. This will allow me to get as close to the object as I need to, and not have to bend down too far to get the pictures that I want to get. Make sure you have an open space with even lighting to get the best possible results when scanning any object. Also, make sure there are no other objects in the way that could get between your camera and the object you're trying to scan, as well as any objects that could get in your way while moving around that could cause any kind of injury. Please check out our separate video on setting up your space for scanning for more information. The maximum amount of pictures you can take with a free version of this app is 70. Try to use them as effectively as possible to capture as much detail of your object as you can. The progress bar at the bottom will show how far along you are in the scanning process, and once you are able to process your 3D model. Once you are finished scanning, press the arrow button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Now this screen will give us a lot of options to select, but they are all very important. We can start by naming our object, We can store the raw data of the pictures so that we can reuse them if necessary. We can use auto object masking to get a better final result of our object. There's an option that you can turn off or on whether or not you want your object to be used for training with their artificial intelligence to help make other 3D models better in the future. You can also toggle whether or not you want your object to be publicly available or just for private use with the visibility option. Face counts and texture quality determine the quality of the object and the size of the file once it's finished. In our experience, there wasn't a major change in quality between the different settings, but there was a significant change in file size. Setting these to low is recommended to start, but you are free to experiment and find out what combination of these settings works best for you. We can now select what we want our object to be saved as. OBJ and FBX files are the most common used, so selecting one of those is our best option. 
if we want to use this model in any other program moving forward. Once everything is selected, we can finally hit upload and start processing our model. The upload process should take a short amount of time and the app needs to stay open while it's uploading. Once it is uploaded, there is a queue time before the object can be processed. Queuing and processing will take different times depending on how many other people are trying to do the same thing within the application as well, and what your internet connection is like. But it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. Now that our object is finished processing, we can view our model and make any edits to the 3D object that we need to. It looks like part of this tool got added to our scan, so we can easily take that out with the crop tool. There are also options in here to edit the texture of the object with a number of different options. If there are any changes made, the object will need to be reprocessed through the app. This shouldn't take as long as the initial process, though. Now that the object is scanned, processed, and edited, we can finally export the object. There's normally a charge of $3.99 to export the object, but they do give coupons to export the object for free. There are a limited number of them to use though. Once you hit export, the file will be sent to your email and will give you a link to click on to download the file. Scanning 3D objects is just one of the steps that we cover in our AR production pathways learning material. Please visit our Shared Spaces website or YouTube channel to find other videos for your augmented reality workflow.